Hello, Internets. I'm Hamster Bomb. And I'm Kimothy. You guys are back for another Pokemon Collections video, and we're wrapping up my uh, little TFG collection set with a bunch of custom shiny paints that I've done with several of these from... Um, did I get all three of the sets? I think just the first two. I didn't do a Groundbreakers figure. Those things are too rare yeah, to get your you hands wouldn't. on. No, you did. You did three. Uh, it's not a oh, Groundbreaker. Oh, no, not Groundbreakers. I was thinking of the third set. Sorry. Uh, yeah, there's uh, several third set ones in here. And as you can see, a couple that are kind of rare, too. Surprising that I did that, but I actually had an extra. And, I mean, I was thinking about selling them for the longest time, but decided that I kind of wanted to shiny paint them anyway, so... Um, I remember talking to several people about some of the rarer ones, specifically the Flareon, saying, like, did I, uh, decrease its value or increase its value? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, we're going to take a look at uh, all ten of these up close so we can get a good look at these. We weren't really sure what kind of order to show them in, so, um, here we go. We're just going to start from the very front. Um, this is one of the first ones I did here, one I knew for sure I wanted to do, which is Shiny Charizard. You can come a little closer. So, um, for the Charizard, Kim unfortunately doesn't have spinner bases this time, so she's just going to have to wing it, I guess. Um, what was tough about him is all that fire that he's sitting on, and um, I had to get in between all of that and try to not get uh, silver paint all over the place. You can kind of stop there and just kind of wiggle back and forth. We, we get the idea. Um... What was also tough is um, trying to avoid stuff, like uh, I, I was trying to get in the mouth, uh, trying to avoid, obviously, the fire, um, trying to avoid the claws, um, the eyes. The eyes ended up getting uh, darker, which I thought was fine. I mean, the shiny Charizard looks kind of evil anyway, so I thought it was good. The red I had to paint over so many different times. It's not coming up as clear right here. Um, exactly like how red they are. They, they were tougher because the blue underneath is pretty dark. Um, also, I ended up deciding to do a silver for his um, gray color because, one, it looks a lot shinier. You know, he looks really cool with a metallic color on him. Um, but also, any other gray or a good thing to keep in mind if you want to paint a small figure is uh, the smaller it is, you need to brighten and saturate so if it was, if Charizard actually is um, a deeper, almost black, you need to make it a middle gray. Um, same, like we can kind of see for Salamence is the most I exaggerated, but uh, you do want to exaggerate the colors a lot. Um, so yeah, he was really hard to do. <laughs> I'm glad he's finished. I'm glad I finished one though. He looks really good. Um, second one, this is a really popular one that people will shiny paint. And by that, I mean I've seen, like, one or two online of other people who've done this one. Uh, there's a shiny Gyarados. He's from the third set. But uh, Gyarados... Ooh, that was not easy. Yeah, if you look down in there, that was just a nightmare, trying to reach that and not hit the water. Um, every time you move, you're going, like, a different depth from me. I'm doing focus, and Kim holds these figures, so it makes it, like, really complicated trying to hold these. But, um... Anyway, uh, yeah, getting on the back and the inside of his, like, front whiskers was one of the hardest parts, and not touching the water. That was awful, but, uh, also, I was trying to get, like, multiple reds for him, too, and not touch, um, his yellow on him, because I didn't have that yellow paint, so I really tried to avoid it as best I could. You can see some flakes of where blue used to be, but not really. Also, getting a slightly different, deeper red on the crest of his head, also kind of tough, um, yeah, but, uh, at the very least, I like how he came out. I mean, once again, I try to keep all of these kind of pearly, glossy, like, um, we mentioned in the rest of the TFG stuff. Kim, so far, is not in this video at all. Do you have anything I to say? I don't know. I've already talked about these figures before. I think you did a really good paint job on them. Thank so. you. That's all you needed to say. Oh, okay. Yes. I was like, I did, a, I, I did all this work, and she didn't, and, and. um, Maybe your favorite? I don't know. I got Eevee. Eevee is a uh, common from Next Quest. This should be a lot easier to hold, too. Um, Eevee was uh, actually the first one that I decided to paint because it looked the easiest, all things considered. Like, if you look at all the others, Eevee looks a lot simpler. Um, I did keep the little foot, uh, the footsie pad pinks. Still feels a little sticky, actually. Paint is coming off on me. 
Um, it's not. It's enamel. It just kind of feels that way if your skin is really oily. Uh, Kim, your skin is extremely oily. Okay, this is a bad idea. I don't know how she... Paint actually came off on me. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll spray them after this because my hands have never been so oily. Um, anyway, uh, I painted the Eevee once again. I used the silver um, and uh, white on the rest of the puffies. Um, I think that was the right color choice. I think it looks really good. What do you think? Yeah, Would I it like be better the white than... on that one. Yeah, I don't like... Okay, uh, since paint's coming off on you, you really should not be touching the figures. Just touch their bases if you can. Especially this next one. So this is uh, the rare one. The valuable one. Um, this, I can actually see some sh paint shining on your hand. <laughs> but uh, this is Flareon, the only other EV evolution. I luckily did get a duplicate of this when I got my uh, first one. I can't, I, it came with a second one. And um, the second one was broken. It was um, it not attached to its fire. I'd obviously reattached it and um, kind of used the fact that it was detached to paint it gold. Flareon's shiny, I debated on what to do for a long yeah, time on this one. Yeah, it's kind of an odd shiny. It's um, yeah, he's technically more shiny. of like an orangey gold color. That yeah. I mean, it is that color. Um, I, after a lot of close inspections, I don't think the yellow of his flames changes color. I don't think it does, no. So I decided I'm just going to try and get really close, um, not nick anything with that gold, and just change Flareon's um, color to gold instead. Um, I like how that turned out. Uh, this next one, another very rare one. I mentioned in the third set video about how rare Mew is, same for Flareon. Um, I also mentioned I did get an extra Mew. It was broken off at the foot, where the Mews always tend to break. And um, what was really tough about him was, as I was painting him, he kept falling off and re-breaking. And uh, I basically utilized that to help me paint just the Mew without getting it on the crystal. But then when I tried to super glue him back, the super glue reactivated the enamel paint, and it kept dripping down the crystal. And I had to... Mm stay on him for hours and keep wiping it off looks good now um another problem was this blue paint looked perfect in the store and looks perfect in the bottle when you put it on mew like i mentioned you want to go brighter lighter colors and more saturated um i think this one probably should have been an even lighter blue oh really i think he looks good really uh, yeah i think that's the perfect color for him. I think it's the perfect color, but scaled down, um, it looks a little dark. So I'm not sure. But either way, if Kim likes it, doesn't bother makes me. me feel better that I'm not worried about it anymore. Um, I think the second one I did, because I was very excited to just do um, shiny ho -Oh. one. Yeah, had to do shiny ho -Oh. Oops. Here we go. So cool. Um, I spent a long time debating how to color him as well. His eye and tongue are also different colors than normal ho -Oh. They are yellow. Let me come closer so you can see that. Um, aside from that, it's mostly in the wings and then in that back uh, floofy thing, which was actually kind of... tail? <laughs> if that's a tail. That's a tail. Um, it's also, it was really hard to get paint in all the nooks and crannies of that thing. It, it was pretty tough. Um, and I hope I got all of it. Now that you're looking really close, I'm worried a little corner is going to show. But uh, the wings, I ended up deciding to do a light yellow for the closest ones, um, and more of an orangey color for uh, the middle, and gold on the outer rims. And then gold is also on that like necklace piece he has, whatever that part of his feathers are on his neck. His, his stripe. Yeah. His... This ho, -ho you can He's see at the bottom, Joker. also had to be repaired. He came broken. Most all of... I had three ho -Ho's total, um, only one of them, and it's the one in my main collection, I did not have to repair. Um, those figures that came in on those spikes are really just... They just break a lot, so that really stunk. But fortunately, you can barely tell on him. He was my best-looking one that I fixed, so I decided he should be my shiny one. Um, if I'm disappointed with any of them, it's this next one, which is actually the latest one really? that I did. Really? I think I like him. I think he looks good. Um, I like the colors on him. I know they're not quite the colors, but they're Yeah, that's why. It's it not matter. as exact. It's because, like, in the bottle, again, that orange looked perfect. 
on the wings and on regular shiny salamence it's a lot darker but once again you want to go lighter you want to go more saturated so as a small figure i think it looks really good um i mean i don't have a uh, I could have brought all the normal versions of these Pokemon to show alongside them, but I thought that would be a little too much clutter and we don't need to hold two. Kim's already struggling to hold one at once without a spinner on them, so it's a little tough. But um, Salamence, if you look at like his tail, that was like one of the That's hardest That's what parts. I was just trying to show earlier. Yeah, his tail wrapping around the mountain and not hitting the mountain. He was really hard to paint. Um, except when you get to bits like the wings and his back. I was like, oh, thank God. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. well, not really. I mean, he's got a lot of, um, look at how detailed the, uh, the grass is and everything on, like, even his chest, um, uh, next to the mountain. You don't want to touch that. And if any little flake of the wrong color shows through, like a little bit of blue, it's really obvious that I missed it. You know what I mean? So, um, it was pretty tough trying to get him to look good, so I really don't want to go back and try and change that color, but it turned out a little more mustard than I would have preferred, but at least he stands out and he's clearly shiny, you know. Oh man, was this hard. A uh, shiny Groudon. I think I've seen somebody else do this one online too. Um, he was really, really tough, and you can see, if you get really close, some mistakes that I made uh, just because of how hard this was to paint. Um, look at how much transparent smoke is all over him. Um, mm. Even in the original, uh, you can see his claws right there. The tips of them have little red tips on them. The other ones has got more. The other claws. The other hand. There you go. It's got a lot more red tips on it. That's just their mistakes. Um, also, in some of the grooves, I couldn't possibly paint those without messing up... Um, yeah, getting uh, yellow inside where black should be. I went through when I was done with um, some markers, uh, little micron pens to try and color in all of the red, but I really couldn't. So we're getting super close here to even tell, but this was super difficult. Um, also, with if you look under, look a little lower here, look at like the pieces of the back of his arm that I had to reach mm -hmm. through his head, which he's gripping around by the back of his shoulder. Ugh. Like, th that's the only way you would ever see that is if you looked at it at that angle, but... I wouldn't recommend painting a Groudon. That one was really hard. Um, this one turned out a lot better, though, I think. A, uh, Shiny Kyogre. He was pretty hard to do with, uh, where the blue melds into, um, the water, which was supposed to be a lighter blue. I tried to paint, like, little bits of, um, the pink I was using on the wing arm so that it would look like it's still, you know, m moving that color around. Yeah. Um, also, he's a lot more pearl. The problem with this color I found was, um, and I've had this happen with a couple other enamel paints, they're testers. Um, for some reason, this one was more, how do you describe it, like, uh, goopy? It's not mixed as yeah, well. Yeah, and I even mixed it with something, like, really hard, like a stick to, not a, outside stick, you know, like the back of one of your brushes or something. So, like, when and it, it comes still to wouldn't... these tester paints, it's like when you pick up an old bottle of nail polish and it doesn't quite come out the way that you want it. It's more clumpy instead of being the nice, smooth paint that you would expect. And that happens with some of the tester products. Yeah. It made it really hard to paint him because it was real goopy. And in the end, since it wasn't working, I had to paint all of Kyogre that it was going to be uh, magenta. I had to paint it with white. And then I had to go over and paint it with um, this color because um, whatever wasn't mixing at the bottom was the the primer, the white, you know, the, the base that makes sure that it is opaque mm -hmm. when it mixes with the color. So that wasn't even mixing right. So I had to paint them completely with white to even get the color to go on. And you can see if you look at the back when you get like a area with a lot of live area, um, come closer. The color on it is inconsistent which looks good as a shiny but i was like that just isn't working out quite right on him just as the paint so real disappointed on that bottle but um hey whatever we got one more here to show and this was another really hard one but i had to do it i had an extra rayquaza <laughs> so i had to make a shiny one for my collection and um i don't know this was Another super difficult one to get into all the little corners and not touch the yellow or the red or the black. And um, 
managed to uh, coat him in a silver, just like it worked with uh, Charizard. I thought that would be really good, because Rayquaza is a darker color than both Eevee and Charizard, obviously, but I use the same paint. It's because of the scale. He's so much... He's scaled down so much. You want to see him. If I painted him with near black, you wouldn't see those little grooves at all. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought the silver would be the best bet. So the sil silver helps give him a little bit more depth to his figure instead of just being a flat black color. Yeah. You see him against the smoke. It wouldn't look very good. Right. So um, he was a really difficult one to paint as well. But um, those are all of them that I've got now. I've got a couple more that I'm thinking about painting. I've got uh, Latios and Latios that are off their bases. They probably won't look that great when I'm done painting them anyway because, for one, they don't have bases, and two, they were kind of nicked up to begin with, um, but they're my only duplicates for those. Um, and aside from that, the only other one I'm looking at down there is uh, Kim has a bay leaf, bay leaf that she would like <laughs> me to do. Um, I kind of thought that these Pokemon were more iconic, and I kind of wanted to make a video showcasing these, and I wanted to finish them up first to uh, show you guys a bunch of different shiny TFGs. So if I make the others, I'll make them. I might not make extra videos to showcase them. I just more wanted to make a video showing, um, you know, shiny Pokemon TFGs. Um, I it may come up. I'm not selling these. I'm not really planning on doing that. Okay, it, for one, it takes so much time to make these that if you added it up in your head how much it would actually cost if you wanted to reasonably charge someone like by the hour to make it it would be insane it's not worth it so um if you want to get one and shiny paint it yourself like i said i use testers paint and um just a lot of patience and very little brushes <laughs> but um either way that is all the time we have for now. I don't know what we're going to be doing coming next for Pokemon Collections. It's going to be up to Kim. Uh, the next coming up, we've got some Hasbro toys that we need to show off that we have not done videos for yet. Um, and then after that, we I'm might not have Kyoto too sure. figures. We're While we're in this Kyoto thing, we might do a Kyoto we could figure. Do some Kyoto figures as well. So. Uh, Pokemon Collections is not quite to the end yet. We're not on to other collections oh, yet. There's, so. <laughs> there's always more to come. There's always more po Pokemon Collection videos. All right, so... Always. Either way, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and we will see you all in the next Pokemon Collection video. Bye-bye.